It's beer and food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be looking at Findus Crispy Pancakes. Beef and onion. There they are. I'm going to cook two of these. I'm hungry today. Uh, I'd just seen them on offer in the supermarket for £1. I thought, never really had them as a kid, but all my friends did. All my friends were eating Findus Crispy Pancakes. And my mum was one of these kind of like home cooked food people, which I really appreciate. Really appreciate. But I never really got the chance to eat a Findus crispy pancake. So, 40 years of age, try my first Finder's crispy pancake with some champion steak cut chips from Aldi and a can of Heinbach premium export 5% ABV. This beer is from Cyprus. Let's get cooking. Food is ready. First of all, let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. Not sure what to expect from this beer. Well, if I'm perfectly honest, I'm expecting a wet, slightly malty tasting lager, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, they've called it a premium lager, which all of these kind of lager companies seem to want to do, or they called it actually premium export. I've never heard of this beer. Went round my local shop, it was there, and I thought, okay, let, let's pick it up. It's from Cyprus. When am I ever gonna get a chance to pick this beer up again? Uh, that's how my mind works. We got a two to three finger white head. Actually, look at this. Nice levels of carbonation. There's a slight haze in there, and there's actual, let me get rid of some of this frosting on the glass there's actually some it's a little bit unfiltered bits and pieces floating around in that beer okay uh, light golden straw colored beer let's get the aroma ooh wow Trying to find a date. I can't see a date anywhere. It smells. It, the initial aroma was kind of like ooh, but now there's a bit of le a touch of lemon. It smells a bit like a premium lager. Let's dive in. Cheers. Oh. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> oh. Um. Oh. Um. Yeah, I really wish I could find a date. There's part of me thinking that this beer's off. Part of me's thinking it's off. Or part of me's just thinking that it's just a really bad tasting beer. Uh, they're based in Limassol in Cyprus. Best before date. See base of can? There's no best before date on that at all. And the ingredients are uh, barley malt. Oh, beer contains barley malt. So that's all they put for the ingredients. Okay. Um, right, let's try and pick this beer apart then. It tastes like a home brewed lager. Maybe it's not off. But it just tastes like a home brewed lager, like like this comes from a kit. It's a little bit wurty, it's a little hoppy on the back end. There's that kind of it 
slightly kind of worthy carbonated strange taste that comes from like a lager homebrew kit it's not very good at all now I mean if I was I was trying to be completely fair in the beer review I read on the side of the can that it says that the best before date is on the bottom of the can my first thoughts were the beer's off the beer's gone off but if the brewery's not going to put a sell-by date on the bottom of the can and I've picked up this beer and any and this is the point anybody else picks up this beer from the shop they paid their good money for this they're going to drink it and they're going to think they're either going to just bear with it because it was quite cheap I think it was about no more than a pound a can but I can't give a proper assessment if the beer's gone off or not if there's no sell-by date on the can. And and I've just got to go with my instincts now and, and just say that it just tastes like one of those kind of wurty, awful kind of home-brewed lagers that you buy in a pack, in a tin or whatever. Yeah, it's got like an like a awful syrupy taste to it. Um, carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. There's a little bit of lemon flavour, there's a little bit of hop flavour on the back end. Um, there's a bit of maltiness coming through. That's kind of about it. Um, I'm actually going to pour this beer away. I'm actually going to pour it away. Listen. For me, that's... It's kind of undrinkable. Findus, crispy pancakes. So we got some champion uh, chunky cut chips from Aldi. They're all right. Hmm. I can't remember the last time I had an oven chip. Perhaps it was on one of these reviews. Potatoes fluffy, nice crispy edge. I banged some vinegar on. Vinegar's good. Exactly what you would expect from a from an, an oven chip from a supermarket. Findus crispy pancakes. Right, this is the first time I'm going to eat one of these things in my life. Uh, okay, so it's just a piece of bread, breadcrumb stuff that's been folded. They've obviously, it was a circle, they put some mince in the middle and then they kind of shut it and then maybe crimped it with, with something at the factory. Let's go straight in. Quite small. I've, I've cooked a couple of these for myself. One wouldn't be enough, I don't think. Let's give it a squeeze. There's a look of the stuff in the middle. It's more, it's not too mince meaty, is it? It's more of a kind of a, a sludgy kind of gloopy material in there. This is, I mean, unless they've really kind of blended the mince meat up. Tastes like mince meat. It's more of a mincemeat slurry. A taste of onions. It's quite nice and that crispy batter. I can see why my my mum kind of cooked me home food now. Not to be like, you know, not to be an ass about it. Um, but, I mean, some people kind of, it's, like, it's the only choice they had was this type of stuff, and I understand that. My wife, my wife grew up in eating these things. This is the reason why I bought it, because 
she told me she grew up on Finder's crispy pancakes and and that sort of stuff from the supermarket. So I, I thought to myself, let's let's buy some and film myself eating them and see what my wife kind of grew up with, what food she grew up with before we we because of course now I'd like to stay at this stage. Um, not that my life is perfect or anything like that. Uh, we cook our kids kind of home cooked soups and and all sorts of stuff. I just like to kind of dip into this sort of food to review it, to to give my opinion, to 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 taste it for the first time on camera for in front of you guys. Um, they were a pound. It's a tough one. We get four in a pack. For a pound, if I wanted to give my kids a cheap tea, they'd have to have two each. Two each of these Finder's Crispy Pancakes and some oven chips. They'd be another pound. So that's two pound. And the, the question is, and it's a question of time as well. It's not just a question of what can I buy for two pounds that can feed my children. It's a question of how much time do I have to, to, to cook fresh cooked food all the time? Because this is the point. Some um, so, some people, my wife grew up more or less in a, in a kind of single parent household. Her husband always worked away. So it was a busy life. She had, she had four kids. She had four kids, um, my mother-in-law. So it was, a, it was kind of like a busy life. It was like, it was like they needed to kind of like cook fast and uh, not fast, but, but Easily, I suppose, a little bit easier than like the benefit of me and my wife living together. I suppose is is that we have a little bit more time to to we have that luxury to cook home cooked food for our children. So yeah, it swings and roundabouts, and I think you know where I'm coming from, guys. Um, but if I was in a rush, if I was working late, kids had karate later on. We had like a an hour time slot to feed our kids in before they have to go off to karate or or their social clubs or whatever they do during the week then yeah i would bang it's nice to have a box of them for a pound in the freezer you can give them two each some oven chips bang 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 wolf it down off you go absolutely fine so for ease of use they're pretty tasty um but if you have the opportunity to cook home cooked food why not just cook home cooked food you can buy a bag of carrots for 30p, I think, 40p. You know, it's that sort of thing in this. And, and you get, it's not just one meal a bag of carrots, you get about three or four meals out of a bag of carrots. So, yeah. Finder's Crispy Pancakes. Let's rate them. First of all, I'll rate the beer. The beer was disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Um, that was a drain pour for me. That was a two out of 10. Two out of 10, almost undrinkable. Um, the chips, yeah, they're nice. I like oven chips, I do. And this is the thing, very quickly, I've got a soft spot for food like this. I always have done. Because my friends were eating it, and I was having home cooked food, it's always like the grass is always greener on the other side, isn't it? So I've always have a, had a soft spot for, for stuff like this because you'd see it all over the adverts on the television when you were a kid, and you never got to try it. So it's always that kind of... I'm, a be, I'm being a bit naughty now. I'm, I'm, I'm like reviewing this stuff as an adult. It's quite fun. It's quite fun. Uh, rating for the chips. I like them for a 7. 7 out of 10. Finder's Crispy Pancakes. <coughs> Pardon me. Finder's Crispy Pancakes. <coughs> yeah, they're alright. Um, probably a little bit more mince could, could be nice. Uh, they was a bit too slurried for me. A bit too blended. Um... Too small as well, didn't really fill me up. You'd have to give your kids two. Uh, they had a, a six out of ten. Bit of a muddling six out of ten. Good convenience food. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please comment, um, please subscribe, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.